All right, so we just finished talking about the good fats. Just to, just to review, you want to work up to eating 10 grams of good fats. It's called EPA DHA. It's one of the, the BNBBs on the list. It's down the third item, good fats. And um, let's talk about fiber a little bit. Fiber is important for stabilizing blood sugar, keeping hormone levels accurate, making you feel better all around. If, you get, if your focus is on athleticism and burning fat, you got to have fiber. And what I'm talking about is 50 grams a day you work up to that over the course of a year. Average American gets between 8 and 12 grams if they're not focusing on it. And uh, you do that over the course of a year. How you do that is just figure, you look at labels and stuff when you buy food, food grains, products and packages, cereal, oatmeal, stuff like that. And each week you increase it by 5 grams per week. So if we had 10 this week, it would be 15 the next week, 20 the next week. If at any time you start to feel like you're really, really full in the gut, Essentially that fiber acts like a sponge and it takes on water and it cleans us from the inside out. It helps the body detoxify. Especially important for cholesterol levels. But if you do get to a point where you just feel really, really full and it's not comfortable, then you back it down to by five grams for a week and then you, you proceed that way. We're looking at long term again. You're gonna get really fast results from this program. There's no faster way to get healthy, sustainable results than with nutrition. But you want to do it in a progressive way where it builds up over the course of a year. When you're shopping and you don't know which one, which item to buy, you really just ask yourself, which one's going to help me get my goals faster, right? If you have a Cliff Bar or a Snickers Bar, it's real obvious. If you have Captain Crunch or Oatmeal, you know which one's going to be better. And you just always try to make a better and better choice as time goes on. Here's a clincher. Here's the part that's really important. One day a week, you eat and drink whatever it is you want to do and pay attention to how you feel for the next 48 hours. If we try to take sad crap away from people, generally it creates a psychological bind. They feel like they're being deprived. When we put the nutrition, the dense BNBBs in first, and we give them good whole food, the cravings naturally go away. But we can't do it the back way. Nobody I've ever seen that I've worked with who said they're going to go cold turkey. I always know right from the start, if I tell them to do it exactly the way I say to do it, there's no fluff, there's no filler, do what I show you to do. If they say, oh, I'm going cold turkey, I'm not going to eat any sad crap, I know they're probably going to pay me thousands of dollars for training and they're not going to get what they want. So, you just one day a week, eat and drink as much of whatever you want, whether it's Fritos, Cheetos, or Popitos, and uh, pay attention to how you feel for the next 48 hours. But consistently eat your whole food, get your BNBBs, and follow it up with sad crap. Now, uh, Um, basically the way I, I train people is, um, you know, I, I show you exactly what to do and then we can measure the results as, as we go. Um, I don't always give people the information that they think they want, but I also, I always give people the information that they need in order to get the results that they told me they wanted. Um, I see my job is that uh, you tell me what you want now and I help you do that, but I'm also as well watching out for what you need down the road and for the future for the rest of your life for you and your family so some of the stuff might not make sense right now you'd be like well, what does this apply to me you'll understand it at a later date we're going to start talking about <coughs> excuse me stabilizing the blood sugar we're on page 13 and we have this chart that has the it's the page that has the ups and downs looks kind of like a roller coaster and we'll probably end up continuing this on the next segment but we'll start in other words, what we want to do is stabilize our blood sugar. In other words, we don't want to have ups and downs. It's when the blood sugar goes up, insulin kicks in, makes the blood sugar drop off. It's in these ups and downs where the body continually stores body fat. You can think of body fat as something you're carrying in a backpack. In other words, body fat is energy. It is stored energy. But when we're having major swings in our blood sugar level, it's storing it, but then it's not tapping back into it. And that's why people can be exercising like crazy and not burning fat. They're actually gaining fat. So um, in the next segment here, we'll cover more of this uh, thoroughly, the blood sugar.